On October 7th last year, a Republican congressman named Pete Olson of Texas introduced a resolution in Congress to honor Hannah Giles and James O'Keefe III, who the resolution said filmed investigatory videos uncovering the fraudulent and illegal practices of the Association of Community Organization for Reform Now, or ACORN. A few months earlier, of course, James O'Keefe III and Hannah Giles uh, got the right wing in this country very excited when they released supposedly incriminating undercover videos that they filmed at local ACORN offices across the country. They claimed the videos showed Mr. O'Keefe and Ms. Giles dressed as a pimp and a prostitute, receiving assistance and advice from ACORN about how to do stuff like smuggling underage girls into the country and securing funding for their illegal prostitution business. Now, James O'Keefe and Hannah Giles were all over Fox News for this. They were lauded as the right's answer to that biased, biased left-wing profession known as journalism. And this congressional resolution that 32 House Republicans ultimately signed on to was meant to commemorate their good work. It said, quote, whereas Hannah Giles and James O'Keefe III have displayed exemplary actions as government watchdogs and young journalists, Hannah Giles and James O'Keefe III are owed a debt of gratitude by the people of the United States. That resolution never passed the House, but six months after it was introduced, California Attorney General Jerry Brown released details of his investigation into the acorn prostitution sting. And what he found suggests that the conservative activists who brought down acorn deserve something other than just the nation's thanks declaring that the tapes that were aired on Fox News on a seemingly constant loop were, quote, severely edited, in his words, the attorney general released the unedited tapes that Mr. O'Keefe and Ms. Giles had shot at California Acorn offices. He said those unedited tapes show that, quote, things are not always as partisan zealots portray them through highly selective editing of reality. Sometimes a fuller truth is found on the cutting room floor. The thing that was supposed to be so shocking about this scandal in the first place was the accusation that ACORN employees willingly helped a pimp and a prostitute skirt the law, even though it was perfectly clear that they were a pimp and a prostitute. He's dressed exactly in the same outfit that he wore to these uh, ACORN offices. James O'Keefe went to those offices dressed up as a pimp, and they still helped him. Outrageous, right? wrong. Here's how Fox News viewers were shown Mr. O'Keefe purportedly setting up his stunt at the Acorn office in San Diego. Watch this. I want to tell you about a girl I kissed. She was ridiculous. I'm in picturesque. Yeah. Right, so the implication there is that Mr. O'Keefe walks into the Acorn office dressed in the fur and the hat and everything as a super fly, black exploitation style 1970s pimp. But that is not actually what happened. Check out the unedited tape. This is the very end of that visit to the office in San Diego. Now, wait a second here. You see that dress shirt? Oh, the, the paint stripes there. See that dress shirt that's visible as Mr. O'Keefe opens the door and exits the office? It's a dress shirt. What happened to the fur and the 1970s black exploitation superfly outfit? Oh, but the pimp outfit thing is just the start. If you watched the footage these guys released, if you followed the wall-to-wall -wall coverage on Fox, if you read all the fawning mainstream media coverage of what these guys did, if you are a member of Congress and you voted to defund ACORN because of the outrage portrayed in these tapes, you were had. Consider this. During that same not-in-a-pimp-suit trip to Acorn San Diego office, Mr. O'Keefe claimed that he caught an Acorn employee giving him advice on how to smuggle underage girls into the country. This is from the edited version of that trip that O'Keefe released and, and Fox News aired over and over and over again. Watch. Question. Would Acorn employee Juan Carlos consult his contacts in Mexico to find a way to help us smuggle the underage girls into the United States from Tijuana? What things do you need from me in terms of like the shipment information? Like, what can I help you? What information would you further need? Would help you in, in advice you would give me? The location. The location? Yeah. Where whereabouts? Like, what type? Like, city, a state? What What do you need? Uh, the, the location they they gonna take the, the girls. Is it better if it's Tijuana? Is it better if it's um, somewhere inland? Uh, where Where is the best place? Um, I'm not quite. He's like all these answers he wants right away. It's very Tijuana. Tijuana? Yeah. Why? 
because I have a lot of contacts. Okay, and they might be able to assist crossing the border? Yeah. Okay, there's like 12 of them, is that okay? 12? 12. 12 girls. There's but 12 they're girls, they're but they're like, they're like 13 to 15 years old. Okay. Yeah. Damning video, right? Damning! Billed by people like Fox News host Sean Hannity as cold, hard evidence of ACORN aiding and abetting this crime. This new, never-before-seen undercover footage shows the great lengths that one ACORN official is willing to go in order to help set up a prostitution ring once again involving underage girls. Now, the man on this tape even offers to help smuggle underage illegal immigrants into the U.S. for the purposes of prostitution. Actually, what you don't see in that Fox News report is the rest of the video, which shows the ACORN employee pressing, pressing, pressing for as much information as he could possibly get from these two people in his office. So the telephone number is uh, 201. What area is that? It's from, I'm from back east. Hmm. It's if, I'm actually originally from New Jersey. Okay. So you know, you don't know what day, what day do you want? No, the they're day. coming on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday. Well, yeah. yeah, like like Friday night, Saturday morning, like. Like really late like though. Like secret in the middle of the night. night. Like between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. So, so that the hour they they working on, and that. They're working on that, you know, arrival. So why is he asking for stuff like phone numbers, dates of arrival, specific locations, all these details? What, what's this Acorn guy going to do with all that information? What does he do with all that information? Oh, he calls the police and reports what they've told him is going to be a crime. Quoting from the Attorney General's report, immediately after the couple left, Mr. Vera telephoned his cousin, Detective Alejandro Hernandez, at the National City Police Department and said that a self-admitted prostitute had been to the office and was discussing human smuggling. Detective Hernandez contacted Detective Mark Haas at the San Diego Police Department. Detective Haas works with cases involving human smuggling. So that ACORN employee, who, by the way, doesn't speak English all that well, did the responsible thing. He elicited as much information as he could get out of this supposed pimp and prostitute prostitute in his office, and then he immediately reported it to the police. For that, he ended up getting fired after fantastical interpretations of his actions like these aired on Fox News. He told us that it would be best if we had them shipped into Tijuana because he had contacts there that could help us. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was extremely unusual, and we're like, oh, you can, and he goes, yeah, my people have experience getting, bringing people across the border. Yeah, I remember when he said, my people have experience. Yeah, that was actually you that said that. Uh, the fact that the ACORN employee collected all that information, including phone numbers and dates the supposed crime was planned for, and passed that information on to the police, uh, that never made it into that Fox News report on this outrage at the San Diego ACORN office. If you watched the Fox News coverage of these undercover ACORN tapes, you would have gotten the impression that every ACORN employee offered their assistance in hiding what they were explicitly told was a prostitution business. It's almost inconceivable that a human being could react this way. You can't think that this is okay. You know that if it were you and this couple came in and, 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 and walked into your office, you wouldn't sit there. You wouldn't sit there. You wouldn't like sit there like these evil Acorn employees did before they called the police. I know this may shock you, but Fox News, it turns out, was not giving its viewers an accurate portrayal of how exactly these two activists represented themselves when they went into the Acorn offices. The story Fox News told its viewers was that O'Keefe and Giles went into Acorn saying they wanted to start a child prostitution business, right? And Acorn employees like Lavelle Stewart in Los Angeles were more than...